Okay. I guess I'll just find a more open-minded reporter. What kind of scum would do something like that to someone like Sonny? You really shouldn't tell the police commissioner you're contemplating murder. It wouldn't be murder. Pest control. Xander shot Brady, and now he's living in the same town with Brady. He was in a Greek prison. How did he get out, Victor? It does have that Victor Kidiakis ring to it. Then we're not going to let him get away with it. I want you to pull Xander's file. There's got to be a thousand reasons why you can send him back to his prison cell. I wish that were the case. What does that mean? There was an agreement made between the U.S. and Greek authorities that all of the charges against Xander would be handled there, in Greece. He's a smuggler. I hope oh, he's a terrorist. He's a kidnapper. He very nearly killed Brady. I know that. Who? Who, who would do a deal like that? Victor. But why? Good question. Jen. Hey, Jen, I was just explaining to Hope about Abigail. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at her arraignment? Yeah, I was there. It's still going on. Then... Honey, what happened? It was... It's what? kind of a surprise. Melinda Trask agreed to a plea bargain. Wait, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the judge isn't convinced, and, and, and he's still deciding whether to accept the terms or not. And Abigail and Chad are there. They're, they're waiting for the decision. And I talked to the Abigail all morning about not pleading guilty. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't stay there for the decision. I just don't feel like I can do this anymore. Hey, hey, hey. Last night was great. Um, thanks again for dinner. Well, that's not what I That's meant. actually why I had to go to the gym. I, I don't usually eat that much. No, I'm not talking about the dinner, Sierra. I'm talking about later. Hey, I thought... I thought we were having a good time. We were. Look, I'm running late, and I really... No. Um... Look, I'm not stupid, okay? I was there. You kissed me, and then... Just like that, everything changed, and not in a good way. And then you ran to your room, and you've been avoiding me ever since. Chase, no, I want you to stop. <laughs> what happened, Sierra? I'm not mad or anything. I, I promise. I just, I just want to make sure that you're okay. Of course I'm okay. I, I, I told you last night, it just hit me all of a sudden that, that I was really tired and I was ready to fall over. I just, I had to get to bed. I mean, there, there must have been something else here. You, please, you know you can talk to me. There's nothing to talk about, really. Are you, are you sure that I didn't do anything wrong or? No, no you're great. We are great but i have like a million things to do today and like i said i'm late you should probably get going too before you uh, before you're late for work You know, I, I have to say, I'm surprised that Trask agreed to plead this down. She's definitely not known for her compassion by any means. Yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with compassion. I think it was just a, you know, fear of pullback from throwing the wrong person in prison the first time. Um, Hope, do you have a place where Chad and I could just speak privately? Uh, yeah. I definitely think that can be arranged. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, how about here? Okay.
I know what you did. I can't believe that Leo would do this to me. Honey, maybe you didn't know him as well as you thought you did. That's oh, that's, that's not true. There, there's no basis to this complaint. I didn't harass him. Honey. I was the one mom that said we couldn't be in a relationship and work together. We know that. But unfortunately, what we think doesn't matter. You both know I was attracted to him. I am attracted to him. He's attracted to me. I didn't push myself on him. I would never do that. I didn't even know he worked at Titan when we slept together. Because he waited to tell you until he sealed the deal. But as soon as I found out, I ended it. I would never be in a relationship with someone that I work with. And Dad, I was telling Mom he wanted to be with me so badly that he was willing to quit Titan. He did that for me. Look at him. He's trying to sell to the highest bidder. I gotta tell Sonny. Well, hey, um, I'm at the square with your friend, Leo, and I have something to tell you. I know what's going on. I'll be right there. Don't let him go anywhere. Don't let who go anywhere? Will's with Leo in the square. Then you need to stay right here. No, 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 no Sonny, look, you need to be very, very careful with him now. I need to talk to him and figure out what the hell's going on. Hey, Sonny, no. Be careful. Justin. What? We cannot let that little creep do this to our son. Too, sweetheart. Came over to share the good news. The judge accepted the plea bargain for Abigail. She's not going to prison. That's great. Yeah, it is. It's great. There's something else, too, that is not so great. Xander Kyriakis is back in Salem. I thought he was in prison. Yeah, well, I have the sinking feeling that your grandfather made a deal to get him out. There's something I want you to look at. His mugshot. If you see him in the street, I want you to turn around and go the other way. Understood, Sierra? Mm -hmm. Don't make eye contact with him. Don't get in his face. Oh, Great, this is exactly what I need right now. Honey, what's wrong? Why does everyone keep asking me that? Because it looks like something's wrong. I could tell the minute you open the door. Well, I'm fine, okay? Okay? Okay. 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 So who else asked? Trip? He was giving me the third degree this morning, and you know how much I hate that. But honey, you know what? Maybe he wasn't giving you the third degree. Maybe he could tell that something was bothering you, just like I can. Baby, what is it? Tell me. All right, um, so last night, Tripp set up this really nice dinner. He cooked. It was just the two of us. Romantic. I guess. And when Grandma Julie went and ruined it all. You knew that I was going to plead guilty no matter what, but you didn't tell Trask that, did you? You convinced her to give me that deal. Yep. So you made a decision on your own without even telling me. Well, I understand how you how you feel about telling the truth. But it's one thing to admit what you did. It's another thing to just want to give up and, and go to prison and leave your family. Me and Thomas. Oh, we need you. So I did it. I would do it again. I'm not going to apologize for that. I just hope you can understand it. I guess I do. I love you. I love you.
Being represented by a law firm I've never even heard of. Let me guess. Shyster, Shyster, and Doomcuff, right? Sweetheart, this is serious, okay? Leo is suing for a hell of a lot of money. Oh, please, the guy is a con artist. A sneaky, money-grubbing con artist. I mean, just say that Sonny... Good God, Sonny would never use his position at Titan to first sex. I mean, come on, he doesn't have to. He is handsome, he's smart, he's funny. Just ask his mother. He's being set up. The kid is after money, or publicity, or both. Adrian. You know what? There's a kid in my third grade class, Leo Hogan. I didn't trust him either. In fact, Leo, it's a sneaky name. When you think about it, it's a really sneaky name. Sweetheart, you, you got to hold it together here, okay? Sonny is going to need us, okay? Take a deep breath. How bad is it? It's not good. The complaint claims that they have concrete evidence. What does that mean? Texts, videos, like because that. Because he planned it. You and I both know that our son would never sexually harass anyone, ever. Sexual harassment? Sonny? Well, it's good to know it's not just for heteros anymore. I believe in equal rights. This is a private conversation, Xander, so maybe you could just go to, I don't know, L. Unfortunately, as you know, it has been known to take down whole companies. Looks like I got back to Salem just in time. Hey, where is he? He slithered over there to make some phone calls. Look, this is a mistake. This is a huge misunderstanding. Sunny. He's gloating. He's loving this. You need to fight back. And if you need any help at all, all you got to do is ask. Right, thank you. It just doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. It makes perfect sense once you accept there are some horrible people in this world. What the hell is going on with you? What is wrong with that guy? What, what kind of person does something so low? And do you know what this does to people who actually are sexually harassed? It just makes it easier to, to smear and doubt the real victims. I could really use a drink. Uh, okay. A little early, maybe? Oh, well, you're being so tedious. You're awfully self-righteous this morning. What can I get you, Miss Roberts? Actually, you are right. It is too early for a drink. I think I'm going to get going, and I'll talk to you later. Um, that's odd. It's not like Kate to leave when a martini's at stake. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Don't be. I mean, she is my grandmother. She's been good to me, but I have learned that um, there are people in this town that hate her guts for good reason. Uh, you're Sierra's cousin. Yeah. You, you, you two live together, right? Yeah, yeah. Roommates or a couple? Or... <laughs> uh, well, um, well, for a while I thought we were becoming one, but now I'm just not so sure. Julie interrupted your night? No. No, I saw her earlier and... Well, I told her that Tripp and I had, you know, plans, and she got, like, way overprotective and started talking about what happened with Chase. She brought that up to you? Yeah, but, but don't get all freaked out. I mean, it, I, I told her that I was over it, and I am. I'm over it. That's what you meant when you said that Julie ruined your night. I know that she was just being worried or whatever, but she would not stop talking about it, so eventually I just left and tried to forget about what she said. And you couldn't? No, I did. I did. I, uh, I, I, I did. Tripp and I ended up having a really nice evening. He cooked me dinner, and... And? What happened? And then we were... We were kissing. And that's when Chase got back into my head. Because Grandma Julie put him there. You know, this is the first time that... 
You've been serious with someone since what happened with no, James. No, I'm, I'm over that, Mom. Maybe I'm over it, but honey. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. I'd forgotten how much he makes my skin crawl. Sounds like Sonny Boy screwed up yet again. Can't say I'm surprised. Anyone could see that he wasn't up to running Titan. Uncle Victor should have given that job to a real man. Ha! Huh, like you? Why not? Okay, I'm gonna kill him. You're gonna have to defend me because I'm gonna kill him. No one else in this family can do that job like I can. On that, we agree. Well, God knows you're not up to the task. Deimos is dead. Brady's trying to work out which tramp he wants to marry, and Sonny can't keep in his pants. Xander, you need to get the hell out of here right now. And if you ever talk about my son that way again, I will come at you with a tire iron and make sure you never say anything to anyone ever again. Did you hear me? Now get the hell out of here! Right. Well, good luck with the lawsuit. I'm sure Uncle Victor will be thrilled. I did not need him this morning. How about I go get that tire? Vivian put you up to this before she croaked? I already told you. She came to me when she found out I worked at Titan, and she was, as I also told you, crazy. So I blew her off, now she's dead, so no, she didn't put me up to this. Then I don't get it. I really don't. I, I thought this attraction was mutual. You quit your job so you could be with me. We made love last night. Why are you doing this to me today? You are right, Will. There are horrible people in this world. Which is why it's every woman for herself. Drinking your lunch and talking to yourself? Hey! Must be uh, time for an intervention. I'm a gal at large. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we're just celebrating. You want to join us for lunch? I understand if you would rather not. No, I, I think we need to move past it. Hey, why don't I order some champagne? Uh, no, good, we're good for us. Yeah, we're just, we're going home to Thomas. Okay, okay. well, suit yourself. What happened today at the hearing? Well, uh, good news. The judge agreed to uh, a plea bargain. Self-defense. Yeah. And no jail time. Mm -hmm. But I am going to be starting intensive therapy. Um, is this okay? Are we sure after everything that I did, I just... Yeah, well, she's fine. Fine. But how? No, really, it's, uh, it's fine. Actually, who am I to judge after what I did to Vivian? You know, I thought that was a accident. I'll tell you exactly why I'm doing this. Nobody put me up to it. You only have yourself to blame. I kept saying that we couldn't do this because we were working together, but you kept pushing. That's a freaking lie. The only pushing I did was pushing you away. You were the one coming on to me. And I already told my, my family, my friends. Like anyone is gonna believe them? They'd say anything you told them to, or paid them to. They don't know what really happened. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how you forced me to have sex with you on your desk last night. I did not force you to have sex with me. And you weren't my employee. You already quit, remember? Do you have a letter of resignation? I never really knew you, did I? You're a manipulative little sociopath. What I am is a victim. Guess what? You don't know me either. I'm a Kyriakis. And you won't get away with this. So Sierra and I had been friends for a while, but I thought that we were, you know, becoming something more. Well, sounds like you care about her. And, um, she, you know, seems like a nice person. Seems like I thought you were her cousin. Uh, I am, but I have kind of like a severe memory problem. Uh, sorry, I, I, I shouldn't be telling you all my troubles in your head. Well, uh, it's okay. I mean, um, you're, you're, you're not bothering me. Yeah, but you can't remember knowing Sierra. You can't really help me figure out what happened last night. Yeah. And, and like, you maybe you try talking to her? I tried, but she, she doesn't want to. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Like, I wish I could tell you how she was when she was younger or something. But, um, 
but I can't. I mean, it's okay. I just, I guess I was just venting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I can say that, um, you know, if you think there's something going on with her, you're probably right. So, maybe try talking to her again. If you were the nice guy, which you were, and it brought back memories of Chip. No, Mom, I told you that was Julie. It was all Julie. But obviously, it affected your time with Trip. Right? Have you thought maybe about telling him what happened with Chase, what he did to you? Absolutely not. He's a very kind, understanding person. Actually, you know what? I think he's the type of guy that would go the distance for the person he really cares about. That reminds me of Steve. I still do not want to tell him about what happened with Chase. Honey. Mom. He thinks I have all this nerve. You know. The motorcycle getting in Claire's face. He doesn't always like what I do. But he thinks that I'm... You're strong. Because you are. Strong. And he likes that about me. And if I tell him about Chase, then he won't think the same way. That is not true. Absolutely not. He would find out that something very bad happened to you. Exactly. Exactly. And then from now on, I will be the victim. He will think that he has to take care of me. And I don't, I don't want that, Mom. I don't want him to think that I am weak he and I am helpless. He would never, ever think that. Not ever. He wouldn't think that. He would see that you're in stronger than he thought, honey. Okay. If you're not comfortable telling him, that's fine. You don't have to tell him. Thanks for the permission. Maybe you should talk to Marlena. Or someone like that. I tried. I tried. I wanted to become a therapist to help people like me. Remember Shady Hills, the you famous didn't know internship? The case would be there. You didn't know you'd see him. And I let him have it. We had it out, and after that, I put it all behind me. I think maybe you didn't. So what? What? What, what do I do? Do you, do, you, do you want me to go see him? Go look him up in that asylum in Oregon? Go be in the same no, room with him again? Not what the I'm... guy who was supposed to be my best friend, who was going to be my stepbrother until he raped me? But you know what? Hey, if it'll get you off my back, and if it will stop you and Julie from, from telling me that I should deal with my feelings, then hey, you know what? I will do it. No. I don't ever want you to confront Chase again. Not ever. Baby, I am so sorry this happened to you. If I could take it away and make it go away, I would. I hate that I ever told you you could trust Chase. No, no, you, no, Mom. You didn't tell me that I can trust Chase. I knew him before you did. Don't you dare blame yourself, Mom. This is not your fault. Well, it is not yours either, honey. I wish to God we could erase the past, but we can't. No matter how much we want to. Well, the best way to deal with things, put them behind you, is to talk about it. Even if it makes you feel uncomfortable. God, I am so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry I went off on you like that. Hey. Sarah Alice Brady, you my daughter and I am your mother and I love you I'll always love you nothing's ever going to change that I love you too but I uh, I really don't want to talk about this anymore I mean, really don't have to talk about it just know that I'm here if you ever need me I know okay Of course, it was an accident. What I was saying was that I didn't mean to kill Vivian, the same way that Abigail didn't mean to kill Um Right, no, I, I definitely didn't. And I just found out that charges are not going to be brought against me as well. Really, you did? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, Rafe called, he said there was insufficient evidence, so it looks like Abigail and I are both off the hook. <laughs> well, I don't really feel like I'm off the hook. I still have to live with what I did to Andre, and. 
you. Well, I do have to admit, looking at your sweet face, it's hard not to see Gabby knocking me over the head. It's not what you think. Kate, you've got to believe me. Chad was right. It was Stefan and he did something to me, brainwashed me or something. And I so whatever I did or whatever I said, it wasn't me. It was Stefan and what he wanted. So just please, I need you to help me, please. Oh, well, of course, I, I of course, of course. But the, let's work on get, getting you out. Yeah. I did it to Marlena, too. Oh, my God. Really, I don't think right now is the time for a that trip down my melee. So. No, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Abigail. No, really. I hope your therapy goes... I hope your therapy goes well. I should be running along. Take care, you two. You feel like you want to stick up for me? But Kate has the right to talk about what I put her through. No, she doesn't. Every day I am learning something new or remembering something new that I that I did, and you can't really keep that from happening. You know, we're gonna get through it, and that's what the integration process is all about, okay? It just, it just pisses me off that the judge would have sent you to a residential facility. But he's right, Chad. I mean, I, I really hate that we're going to be separated because I feel like we just got back together. You'll get through this, okay? Are you sure? Do you really think that our marriage can survive this? Abigail, I hope she gets better fast. Mm. Me too. But I'm going to miss her. Mm. I really enjoyed having her stay with me. Yeah. I have to go out back. I got a sign for a delivery. Hey, I'll be right back. All right. Hello, Miss Deveron. You're not welcome here. Uh, last I heard, it was a free country, and I'm a free man. So I can do anything I damn well please. I don't want another scene. Oh, Eric started that when he dragged me away from Eve for no reason. He just can't resist playing the hero, can he? He's a good man, and you're not. Well, I, I'm still in a bit of pain. Maybe I should sue. Maybe you should leave Salem. I'm warning you. Stay away from Eric. Stay away from all of us. So feisty. Just like Nicole. Maybe that's what Eric sees in you. Tell me. How does it feel to be the boyfriend's second choice? Why don't you get away from her now? Yeah, the, uh, the worst of it is over. But I hurt people that I love, including you. You don't do anything to hurt me. Okay, something bad happened to you. I'm gonna get through it. You sure? It's gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Don't to give you another shot at me. I might need painkillers from earlier, which I hear you might be able to help me score. Get out. This won't be the last you see of me. I promise you. It's done. You were right. I'm glad you finally see it that way. It did not feel good doing this to a guy like Sonny, but I'm glad I stuck it out. There's a bidding war for the rights to my story. Maybe you should receive a large settlement from Titan. 
And once you take over the reins and pay me what you owe me, I'll be set for life. Hey, uh, is Dad home? Uh, he went to court. Seems the DA cut a deal with Abigail, so Gabby should be released. That's, that's, that's great news. I can't wait till Ari finds out. How'd it go with Leo? I found out the lawsuit is not a joke, and it's not a mistake. It's actually happening. Honey, I'm so sorry. You know, I found out that Leo wasn't attracted to me. He was attracted to my money. And I am just disgusted with myself Honey, right now. come on, please. How could I be so stupid and so blind? You gotta listen to me. Look at me. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault, Mom. I was so determined to get over Will that I just fell for a con man that I met online. This is on me. I did this to myself. It's the Thank you. 